Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Prehistoric History, Season 5, Episode 3. I will make a trailer here, like, there's no Episode 1. Is that a typo? Excuse me. It's actually not a typo, guys. It's actually the, 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 the real thing, but, uh, it's actually not a typo, so, uh, I said that already. Uh, so, well, be, 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 because I'm making a trailer. Anyway, let's continue. So, I found c Cave Art of a Mysterious Animal. I have actually read this three times. Totally. I don't want to read it again. Trust me. I'm sorry. I just don't want to read it again. So, the unidentified animal is a diprotodont. It's a young mega beast, and that's deeply disturbed me because it's suggesting that maybe... Curly hu humans in Australia h hunted, yeah. and and that's not good. So yeah, guys, I'll see you. I'll see you guys after the intro. <laughs> Okay, guys, so, now, pretty much, so, it's so the cave art drawing of Diprotodont. Uh, and by, by the way, it, uh, it also took them years to find out that, that it was an actual animal, so, yeah. Anyway, so, it proves that, I'm a whatever, yo, I need to research what they're actually called, and I assume that was Homo erectus. Homo erectus, it's more like Australopithecus, which you'll learn what that is uh, in season six or next season if we get there, which will be about hominids. So, hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, I like, and I want six views. It's good. I want good views, man. Peace. So, and it proves that that that, that the mega beast shared a landscape. Together, and no, I did plan plan to do a live stream today, but failed. So, I promise I'll I'll, I'll do it on Jurassic World the game. So I'll save up, and hopefully there 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 will be a lot 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 of stuff for me to do. And I'll just do it for like two hours. I don't know. I will figure. I'll I'll fi figure it out. Which is that 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 make me share, share the landscape together. One theory is that. A rapid la la lightning war uh, drove them to extinction. So th that th theory states that humans will drive, also drive, all large a animals out. M many people su su suggest that that homo that are her that early hu humans in in Australia, early humans, Australia drove the mag beast to extinction. There isn't any uh, evidence in, until something happened in, in Cuddy Springs. So at, at the site, there are her, her, ma many mag beast bones that show that they have been killed by a projectile. So they're basically showing that they were killed by spears. Not good. So, hey, hey young Diprotodon was discovered with a wooden tool. That's even more evidence. They hunted them. That looks like humans are officially a suspect. Oh, God, my eye. Uh, yeah, this isn't looking good for humans. So, uh, yeah. So it's indicating that Aborigine people, which are the early humans in Australia, uh, it's, it's not how they spell it. Alborigine, I'm pretty sure it's about different. Oh, well. I get the Alborigine! This is Italian! Nope. So, um, so, so early people in Australia had lethal spears that could kill large mega beasts quickly. So that's that. Oh, God, sorry for the cringe. Probably move this over here. 
Now it says 422 in my face. It says 422. Moving on. Double tap ticks. Oh. Yeah, well, like all other human species, you know, uh, the, the Aborigines were hunter gatherer societies. They th threw their spears to kill large animals. Their the spears they used were associated associated with hunting big animals. The artifacts fa they found date to ten thousand BC. That the spears literally h humans used a uh, specialized. In, in killing young megafauna, if al aborigines, uh, if if al, fuck the glass, uh, if aborigines humans ki killed off the young megabees, that would be enough in the right amount in decades to drive them to extinction. In addition to to this, the megafauna didn't reproduce as quickly as other animals, which can be a c contributing factor, so. Uh, so I just have to be, be, be careful, or click. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I forgot to add a title. No. So, anyway, sci scientists pay for a cat scan on the animal. So, one of its fe fe features actually questions its ability to. Right. Why is there a picture of a diprotonaut? Also, when we're talking about cyclic, I don't know. I guess I'm too lazy. I swear my neck is going to break. God, so crib. No. I'm just gonna have a... So this is that. So, so I just pre 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 for pre for a, a cat a cat scan on Thyakulia. And and that that will help them determine if Thyakulia is a predator. It does. So it t turns out that Thyakulia does have orbital vision, which is a pre pre predator adaptation, and you should know that. From season four, yes. So anyway, scientists observe that that had the brain capacities of the skull. Then they send the skull to, to, to the University of Western Australia. I think I was actually supposed to read the first part. First of all, sorry, I don't care. Anyway, you, you better re remember that because I ain't repeating it. So that this is a type of overkilling. This is enough to drive the megafauna to extinction. Yeah, but there is more to to, to the story that, than just this. Not all the, the megabees, mega beasts. Even as a baby, we're, we're, we're defenseless. Like Thyakalea, that's a predatory. Megalania. I think we get the point. That's a Thyakalea jawbone. So, the, the young Thyakalea's friend incisors crush the, the front of the... Of the Sheep's neck and the upper and lower incisors stretch the the flesh back. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, cancel, stupid. No. I'll just see you guys. Why? Right? What's going on? No. I, I tried to do a live stream and it didn't work. 
So my wife, the, the young Thaya Cleo's, I just crushed the front of the sheep's neck, which is a t test they, they performed on it. Uh, and now the question was, is a predator, so the small marsupial lion can have 1,000 pounds of bite force, and adult marsupial lion's bite comes close to almost double any big cats today. That's pretty strong. I would say it is a predator. Herbivores don't need that by force. Yeah. They could kill any humans. Any. So in this case, humans in the end, uh, uh, humans in the end, uh, yeah, they could be running for their lives. Yeah, it's kind of like rock well. Hey, they, ooh, I'm going to win. And they're like, I think I'll be leaving now. So Thiaclea's teeth don't look like they could kill. To find out if Thiaclea is a predator, scientists are going to test uh, Thiaclea to see if it is a actually a predator. So scientists observe the brain. Oh, I was supposed to read that first, okay, but the observer is like, okay, is optical vision. Anyway, moving on. I'm probably going to d delete some par parts of this uh, video. N no, no picture, just text. I'm sorry. So... Although the, the 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 mystery of why the mag beast went extinct, it's far from over. Sorry, you're gonna listen for a bit for a bit longer. So, so most of of the natural evidence that that c could be enough to close the case. Well, <laughs> I I deleted it. It's not supposed to say. In Coral Bay, in Western Australia, uh, paleontologists are looking for Janiornis eggshells again. When, which you guys don't, Janiornis, it's a bird! So, when paleontologists date the newest Janiornis eggshells, so the bird, they can conclude that, that, that the bird went. Extinct 45,000 years ago. Around 40,000 years ago, the emu's di diet changes, of course, into amino acid racemization tests. So, uh, this is also about when the genuineness disappears from the fossil record. Coincidence, eh? It's more than that. Just saying. It's all to say. So. Uh, with this, with just the musical evidence that, that that case could be closed. Just from one small animal. Can you believe that? So it's just like if all, all, all the food sources disappeared except grass. Oh yeah, so it's it's basically like if t t t today all all, all the food food sources disappear except grass, we can't eat grass, so so we we would all starve to t to death. Of course, we couldn't make junk food, but soon we would get fat and either that or we couldn't. We would die, but that ain't. I'll talk more about our extinction and in see. In season eight, actually. Anyway, let's continue. So the emus, so the emus changed their their diet, so that that's why they survived and, and the genuineness died. So that scarcity of vegetation causes a domino. Effect for the whole food chain of the megafauna. 
so I like the like all, all other modern e ecosystems when one creature dies off the, the whole food chain collapses in that in this case when when all herbivores die out predators com compete ferociously <laughs> for food and as soon, soon as that is gone and the predators go bye bye to ignore that going to disappear. Thank you. So, once it's gone, predators go, bye-bye, too. Nice seeing you. Goodbye. So, th this wasn't all all that was bad for part of the Mega Beast. There were many burnt eggshells, indicating that they were hunted by humans, which definitely didn't help either. So the predatory megafauna hunted the eggshells too. I feel like my back is about to break. So, I'm just going to stand up like a normal person. So then there are many burnt eggshells that indicate that they were hunted by, by humans, which doesn't help the species at all. Now, Reza, why do I do this? So, so the predatory me me megaphone hunted the eggshells too. This was another factor of why the genuineness became extinct. Wait, what? I'm almost done. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, well, well, this may actually not be a 40 minute episode. Okay. So something that created the, the the spiraling window that caused the megafauna to go extinct. So there's something, but we're missing a piece of the puzzle. Actually, that's the last slide. No, season five is it? So we had the spiral window that caused the megafauna to go extinct. So in one way, humans could have destroyed the vegetation. How? So, if there's one thing, thing to know about being big is that it can be a fa 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 fatal flaw, however, you know. Being big is, it means that, that you, you can travel long distances in search for food and water. So even the, the, the Diprodon could travel long distances. Uh, uh, but if it was scarce, then they could die out too. Because they need a lot of food. 4,500 pounds per day. If they don't get that, then eventually they'll just die out. Because of starvation. Uh, so since Homo, since Homo, whatever, were, were, were the fir first people on, on the landscape, so they could, they could have somehow destroyed the mega, the, the mega beast habitat. Paleontologists have found evidence of burnt plants and animals. This finally proves that early humans, early humans, uh, early humans, uh, uh burned plants, and animals. This finally proves that early humans could eat. So, sin. so ba 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 basically, what they did is they would burn the forest, and they would burn the animals. So. So they would burn the vegetation, and then they all collect the burned megafauna because of the, the, the wildfires. And over the, the course of, of, of the time, they're they, they killing more plants than they could reproduce naturally. And same, same thing with, with mega beasts. They're killing more mega beasts than they could naturally reproduce. And producing slowly was also a factor in the extinction. So, anyway, guys, it's a sad story, but... Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know why I'm so happy. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like. A big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in season 6, I believe. Yeah, the, 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 this is the last episode of season 6. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like. And until next time, bye bye I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>